All around the world, farmers are turning over their fields to growing crops to produce biofuels, crops grown specifically to be processed as fuel for motor vehicles or burnt in power stations. It's purported to be the green solution to our energy problems. The EU has grandiose plans to be self-sufficient, setting unrealistic targets of 10% for homegrown biofuels production, a target that would require 70% of all arable land to be taken out of food production. In a futile gesture to meet that target, UK agriculture is turning arable land over to growing biofuels, harvested to be burnt in coal-fired power stations, not for efficiency, but to meet quotas. This was a cornfield until three years ago, uh, and we're turning over thousands and thousands of acres uh, to this stuff uh, when we should, in a world which is desperately short of food, be growing crops. And crops have become more expensive, twice as expensive as they were only a year ago. Uh, and, and, and people in the world are actually starving. And while we grow this stuff to burn, when we should be growing food. It's the economics of the madhouse. The whole argument for biofuels falls down on every possible level. It isn't particularly CO2 uh, emitting saving. It costs a great deal of money by comparison with even the inflated cost of oil today. And thirdly, of course, it abstracts from the world food production and our own food production very, very valuable sources of food. The biofuels policy is completely mad. Brussels eventually is going to have to give way and realise that we can't give over half the farmland of Europe to growing fuel for our cars. The land needed to produce enough grain to fill the tank of a 4x4 with biofuel just once would feed one person for a year. The targets are unachievable. And when 27 EU states turn to importing biofuels to meet targets, it had disastrous consequences for global agriculture. Millions of acres of land have been converted from food production to growing biofuels. The USA and the EU have considerable influence, so much so that according to a leaked World Bank report, their demand for biofuels has pushed world food prices up an incredible 75%. If we continue to try to meet the renewables obligation, as narrowly defined by the European Union, it is going to cost us at least a thousand million pounds of imported biofuels. That is the direct cost. The indirect cost is yet again a diversion from the real need, which is to tackle the impending and critical energy crisis facing our country. It is estimated that by 2020, the costs to taxpayers could reach £50 billion. The EU environment policies are not only pushing us inexorably into an energy crisis, they're also threatening our agriculture. Something is happening in the arable fields of England. Mounds have started to appear in the corners of crop fields across the country. Closer inspection reveals that they are heaps of industrial waste. Sewage waste. Human waste. Waiting to be ploughed into the fields. Well, this is another triumph of European Union lunacy. Uh, we have the 1999 landfill directive, which means instead of putting our filth and muck into a great big hole in the ground and covering it up and landscaping it, which is what we used to do, we now spread it across the land and call it compost. It stinks like nothing on earth. This is actually not compost, this is industrial waste. This is where the waste originates. Local farmers are paid by the tonne to take it away and stockpile it in their fields until they can spread it on the land. It's a way of circumventing swinging EU landfill taxes imposed upon local authorities if it were to be dumped in landfill sites. So this classifies 
as recycled. And if the local councils don't meet the tonnage of recycling, they get fined directly by the European Union. So whatever filth is in this, it isn't in the interests of the local council or the environment agency to find anything wrong with it or really prosecute seriously any illegal spreading of it. Uh, but the simple reason, because if they can't get rid of this stuff, they get fined. The situation has alarmed brewers and food product manufacturers, so much so that some are refusing to accept crops from fields that have been contaminated in this way. Nobody understands the consequence of it, and I would suggest that this is an accident waiting to happen. Britain appears powerless to limit outside interference and damage to its economy. It has little control over its imported energy. It is forced to commit to biofuels targets that are unachievable. It has embarked on a futile wind power strategy that requires huge subsidies. It is fettered by landfill directives that distort the market and put our agriculture at risk. And it is all being paid for by the British consumers in the name of environmental idealism. Britain is out of control. So much decision-making, policy-making, law-making is now contracted up, upstairs to Brussels. And the result is that whether you're looking at waste policy or energy policy or postal services or any, any one of a vast range of things which get constantly into the headline, we are not running the show anymore and we no longer have civil servants whose job it is to work out how these things should be done properly in the interests of the British people. One of the big lies I think we have is that the European Union is wonderful for the environment. It might have all sorts of other economic problems, but it's, it's actually wonderful for the planet and the environment. The point I'm making that it isn't. Uh, we've just looked at landfill directives, and we've looked at the terrible problems they're causing. We've looked at wind farms and the terrible problems they're causing, biofuels and all the absurdity that that brings to world food prices. And I haven't even talked about the common agricultural policy and the common fishing policy. So it's a disaster. The European Union is a disaster for the environment, both locally and globally. And as soon as people wake up to this idea, uh, the better off we'll all be. We shouldn't be run by Brussels. We should be looking after our own environment, looking to the common sense aspect of environment back here in our own country.